Oh, JP, finally we are on holiday together. It's I have been waiting. Oh, <laughs> it's our honeymoon. Honeymoon? No, I'm on Eurovision Song Contest. Is it your honeymoon? It's my honeymoon with you. <laughs> I had no clue, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you didn't know about this, but... Uh, I, mean, I, I thought we were in New York or uh, it's, Hong Kong. No, it's even not Rio either, but it is the city of Baku in Azerbaijan, or for the Swedish viewers, a Sergeban. A Sergeban. <laughs> <laughs> On the shores of the Caspian Sea, it's a Binnen Lake. It's a lake that has no connections to anywhere else, just like this. It's salt water, it has oil, and it has sturgeon fish inside. And that's where the caviar comes from. Oh, you like caviar a lot. Oh, I, I do, a... I do. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. But we have a fantastic uh, view behind us. It's, it's a lot of amazing buildings. You see the skyline of Baku and it has about 3 million people living in the closer surroundings of the city of Baku. You have the harbour on the other side, the boulevard is there, the government building is there and many, many hotels housing all the international journalists coming to Baku to cover the Eurovision Song Contest for their country's television, or radio, or medias. Yes, and we also have the landmark of Baku. It's the three flaming towers. towers. You see them right there? Yeah. And the particular thing about that is that at night time it's lit in flames it changes to the Azeri color yes uh, the flag color of Azerbaijan of course talking about the flag have you seen the biggest flag yes. on the world it's this. right there it's waving Are you sure above it's the biggest flag of the world? I heard it's the biggest flag on the world oh. it's the Azerbaijan flag showing the landmark which has been built here about eight months ago it's the crystal arena yeah, the Crystal Arena you see behind us, and it's a, really an amazing building. And during the night time, it's also uh, shifting in different colors and uh, stars, lights, amazing. It's like a lightning show, even outside. It's amazing. The temperatures here is about 28 to 32, 35 degrees, and it's humid. So we feel like a little bit like being in the jungle here. Uh, but. Uh, <laughs> Look, you see, the, from the Crystal Arena, you see actually also a white tent, and this is no party tent. I thought it was the party tent for tonight's party. No, it's not. And the parties are taking place outside. And I see one of the shuttle buses taking the journalists up to the checkpoint to go downtown Baku for their interviews with the artists, if they're not done here. But where is the party tent? Well, there's no party tents. We're just partying outside. That's what they do. It's Baku. Yeah, we are going to the boulevard which is uh, close to the seaside exactly. and there is a lot of restaurants and bars and uh, it's open very late you can sit outside have a nice dinner and a glass of maybe dry cold white wine, white wine. <laughs> Or a hubble bubble. And you might even pop into one of the, uh, or some of the artists that are performing at this year's Eurovision Song Contest. Because they're not only working, they're also socializing with the other countries, of course. And but you and I, we have to work. So we now, now we have no time to stand here anymore because we have loads of work, of work to be to done do. today. Because exactly. today is actually rehearsals going on. It's uh, the second rehearsal for many yep. of the artists. Or of semi-final one is starting. Yes. has started already and the artists are walking through this white corridor building the, the tent, tent the party tent <laughs> what you think is then they go into the press conference where we then will meet them and ask questions and, and then afterwards we process all this information for you okay so we just say salam, salam. and light your fire my fire light your fire yes oh here we dear. go <laughs>